even more news that we didn't get a chance to get to on this last week's Orbit 10.37. Mike, NanoRex, what's, uh, what's going on over there? Yeah, so uh, NanoRex announced this week that they have raised an, uh, an undisclosed amount of money to be able to support their commercial airlock module that they want to attach to the International Space Station. A uh, commercial airlock that would be used for mostly for the deployment of CubeSats and microsatellites, but that would have way more volume than the Kibo module that currently launches, launches a lot of these uh, microsatellites and CubeSats. Mm -hmm. So Nanorex said that uh, Space Angels, formerly the Space Angels Network, led the investment round. And Jeff Manberg, the uh, chief executive of Nanorex, said in a statement that this investment will expedite our production and it's wonderful to have Space Angels invested in this landmark program to enable the future of commercial space. Now, Nanorex hopes to install their airlock to the International Space Station in 2019. And Nanorex signed an unfunded Space Act agreement with NASA in 2016 to develop the airlock, and not only would it be able to handle a larger volume of commercial satellite deployment than, than Kibo does, but it could also house externally mounted payloads and experiments as well. Mm -hmm. And the airlock itself could be berthed to the unused port currently on the tran Tranquility module, where the cu cupola and the beam module are currently attached. The beam module would be kind of on the right-hand port of that, on the, the opposite of the, uh, the permanent logistics module that you see on the left there. Um, but with this program, there is a, right now, there is a formal manifesting of the payload on a resu resupply flight, and it would be uh, stored in the trunk of, the, of one of the Dragon commercial resupply services flights. And it's being manufactured right now. They already have pieces of this that exist. They're bending metal. And Nanorax has long-term ambitions to develop its own commercial station. And it's part of the whole Ixion partnership with Space Systems Laurel and United uh, Launch Alliance to study refitting upper stages that would could be used as habitation modules for NASA's Next Step program. So this is just the beginning of Nanorax's own uh, kind of space station module ambitions. And I'm excited and happy for them that they've been able to get the money that they need through private investments to be able to push this forward and hopefully it does launch when they hope to in 2019. So very good news. Yeah, very good. It brings a whole new and much better meeting to throw it out the airlock. So uh, on Orbit 10.37, our main topic was actually about the newly reformed National Space Council here in the U.S. And if these kinds of things interest you, feel free to always join us live every Saturday at 1800 UTC.